Yeah, g'day everyone, welcome back to Gone Travelling Oz. Um, today we pulled up in the uh, oh, Uluru area and we're just about to go and do the uh, the Olgas. Um, on our way in, it looked pretty cool, like it looked almost photoshopped, like it wasn't real, it was just a mirage in the middle of nowhere. So it's after lunch, it's up past one. Um, we're going to do the Valley of the Winds. Um, and I think it's a so it's a grade four difficulty. It's a it's a 5.4k uh, return. It's an approximately about two and a half hours. So um, very steep, very rough track. Signs posted. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look at and have a bit of a sticky beak. See how everyone's tracking. If we're everyone's happy, we might continue on and do the actual the full lap, which is uh, seven and a half k's or four hours. So. But that, yeah, at the moment, we'll do that one to start with. Flies are horrendous. If you've got a fly net, bring it with you. Doesn't worry me too much. I'm used to having flies crawling all over me. But, yeah, as I said, when I come in here, it just looked like it was photoshopped. And it's just, if you, know, if you haven't been here, get here. That's, that is one massive rock. And to get all the way around, it's definitely a, 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 a bucket list tick off that one anyway. Right, we'll uh, we'll head on along the track and we'll we'll update you when we get along, I suppose. But so far, it looks pretty flat. Like all our other videos, you know, I'm not I'm not that fit. I do enjoy a beer, but we'll we'll punch on through and see how we go. Yeah, so we just did the uh, the first little bit up to the. Oh, where the turn off is for the for the main track, the 7.4 k's. See, well, it's pretty steep up through as you head up. I'm blowing hard. It's all undulated. Um, there was a little bit of a, a paved area. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be wouldn't be recommending this if you have got bad knees or anything. But I'm just sitting down beside it, massive. Anyway, I sort of just took off. I'll wait for everyone to catch up now and then we'll decide what we're going to do, we're gonna, where we're going to go. Yeah, so I didn't realise when I first sat down, this was the first lookout, so... Not bad, it's pretty cool down there. Good, decent lookout. But we'll get like, I'm not too sure what we're going to do if we're going to go to the second lookout. Um, yeah, we didn't realise Declan had Crocs on. So we've all got hiking shoes on and joggers and and boots and Declan's got Crocs on. So that's real handy. But anyway, we'll either do it and then I'll come back later and come back tomorrow just by myself and I'll do the full ring walk, ring, uh, the full walk. Um, oh yeah, everyone will come back, I'm not too sure. But right, we'll, we'll go and make a decision. Yeah, so we decided to come back, so we just got the first look out. Um, I'll make a decision on Monday if we're going to come back and have a do the do the full lap. So do apologise, I've only got limited footage. So, but yeah, if, if I don't get back, definitely make sure you come here. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, note to self: make sure kids have got correct footwear on before we leave. So, so anyway, tomorrow's another day. Um, we're off to. Got the camel rides in the morning, and um, then we're going to do all the roo. We'll probably hire some push bikes and do that tomorrow afternoon. Uh, being Sunday, and then yeah, as I said, see what happens Monday. I may come back out here. It is a fair hike. It's like 50 odd k's to get out here, so um, yeah, we'll make it anyway. How cool is that, Ryan? Good. Get on the camel here. Yeah. All the roo out here, and the dog is back behind us. Almost looks photoshopped at all the rude, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It just sits there. It just... Whoosh. Whoosh down. Whoosh down. Whoosh. Whoosh down, buddy. Let's go. Whoosh. Whoosh.
Yeah, we did. <laughs> Why are they well, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed it. Would you? Do you enjoy it, Ryan? Yes. What was the best part? So um, we yeah got on there and took us around, yeah. told us a bit about the camel. So yeah, if you can yeah. get out into the yeah. Uluru camel tours, definitely jump on there. We you can touch it. It was only me and Ryan on there, so we had our own private um, ride. So we're just down in the in the farmyard here. You got all the farm animals, your donkeys and water buffaloes and goats yeah, and. Chooks and ducks and baby camels and his little, his little donk. Oh, that little donk. Where did I like this? I don't know. Check the buffalo. Oh, the buffalo. Yeah, no, that was very cool. Especially you got your own private tour. Apparently, it's pretty quiet at the moment, so he's a little, a little baby camel. A couple of moo moos. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how old he is, but. Yeah. And the big moo moos from home. So there's 45 camels they got here. And they catch heap of wild ones every year and they bring them in. And they uh, break them in and they reckon it takes them about two years to break them in enough to trust them to dr so people can ride them. So it takes a while to, to, to get them to be able to ride on them. So. Keeps them busy. Just had a fire go through not long ago, apparently, and took out a few all, all of tucker for them and trees and that. So, yeah, very interesting. As I said, get here if you can. I would. So all these camels have got their own um, saddles. They're not they're not all made the same. Each camel's different, so it's yeah, different shaped. Saddle, which is pretty cool. So we had we had Meryl or Merle and Buddy was out too yep, today. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah. There's no one here. It's only us here. It's too quiet, really. All these different names. There's one around here named Sterlo. I wonder if his nickname's Pete. Old Sterlo and old and Trevor. Turned up at Ezrock, just about to start a. I'm oh, just gonna go for a walk. We we're gonna get push bikes, but they're like $50 a bike for three hours high. And then if you want a little a bike with another seat on it for for Declan because he's three, it's another $25. So $175 for three hours is a bit steep. Uh, but if you want to pay it, you can pay it. This is where the old the old walk up the rock was, but this bit's been closed now since 2019, as most people know. So we're off on the, the Marla walk. Not too long, not too sure how long it is. What's the Marla walk? So it's a two kilometre return, it's one and a half hours, so... We'll go and do that, and we'll see how everyone else is going, and... 
we might do something else, but I think we'll just do this. And then we can drive around the rock. Um, and then we'll just pull up in areas and we'll just get out and walk in and check it out. But, yeah, if you haven't been here, definitely worth checking it out. Yeah, I reckon this would be pretty cool in the wet season when all the all the rain. You see a little where all, obviously the little waterfalls are. All those black marks up on the rock. How good is this? Walking around the rock. So Ryan's a little bit disappointed that we didn't get, we didn't hire the bikes. Only because $50 per bike. So plus an extra $25 for the infant seat. So $175 for three hours. And then it probably would have went up there if we hadn't have finished it in three hours. So we thought, you know, might have been just easy to walk because it's nice and flat. And we could take our time then. So, you know, isn't that right, Ryan? We're gonna have much more fun on foot. Pretty yeah. easy track so far, it's all reasonably flat, a little bit undulated, but nothing too strenuous and I'm not blowing it. Like I was the other day, quite fresh at the moment. Alright, we'll just go around to the next point of interest. Look at this. Looks like a looks like a real big wave. The man's cave. It's like a rain. A, a what? A leaf. Oh, oh yeah. It's, it's a rain. What is it? It's a rain. It's a rain. Not even five minutes into a walk and we get... Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like a big wave. Someone's just been digging it out. It's pretty cool. Imagine being able to walk it up there. You'd want to hold on. The, uh, the kitchen cave behind us. All the women used to go out and hunt or prepare things. Bush tucker. Okay, come and take me, Daddy. Yeah, bush foods. So the gorge behind us was the main source of water. <laughs> Why everyone was here. It's pretty cool down there. Then everything's quiet. It's, it, it's like you're in another, like another, another world nearly. So quiet in there, so peaceful. It's just hard to got kids and they won't, they won't be quiet. You know when you just want that little, just that 30 seconds of just shh. You're can't last five seconds. People with kids know. But that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'll keep rambling on, but you know, 
This would be pretty cool to come and see in the wet season. Yeah, up here. That'll be a massive waterfall after a good drop of rain. Right, we're heading back, heading back along the same track. So that was the end of the the Muller um, track. So I'll get back to the car. I'm pretty sure there's another track that goes around to the right. So we'll, we might walk it, either that, or we'll get in the car and we'll drive around to points of interest and then we'll get out and we'll uh, walk in and have a sticky beat. So far, pretty cool. Kids have got a, a seat to sit on. My back on it. All right, we just finished our walk around the rock. Pretty cool. Now we're just gonna pop in here to the uh, cultural center and have a bit of a sticky beat. Um, might be something here for the kids to do. I'll do a bit of painting or something like that, I don't know. We'll, we'll go and have a look anyway. Well, we just did the uh, cultural center tour. Well, it's just a self-guided thing, it's free. Um, yeah, I couldn't take any videos or pictures. Um, just out, out of respect, so I didn't didn't do any of that. So we're going to head back into Uluru itself, or Ulara. Um, there's a couple of little things there we want to check out, so we'll head back in there now and check them out. Yeah, definitely come out here and check this out. We've got videos going in there, um, heaps of information up on the walls to read, so yeah, a bit of info. Get a bit more of a overview of what's going on out here, what what what, what did go on back in the day, so Right uh, so we decided to come back to the Yoga, so we're gonna um do the same track as we we're gonna do before. So I've shown you the first part of the track or up to the first lookout, so I'll uh I'll check back in um, once we get past the first Look out. Um, we'll do that, do this today, and then we're going to go just back down the road and do the gorge. So, a couple of little walks this morning. It's just 10 o'clock. Nice and fresh, going to be 26 degrees today. Perfect day for a little bit of a hike. With kids in the background harping already, so as I said in my last video, got kids for sale, give them a bag of food to go with them. I know we made the first look out so we're heading to the uh, second so we're just going down a pretty steep hill and all the way down down here through the valley or the re-entrant so this one yeah it says stage level four difficulty so you will take your time don't want to do go way over teeth, you don't need that. I suppose once you get down here, we've got to go up. Anyway, we'll keep rolling through. Wow. <laughs> this would pass. Crazy how these massive rocks just in the middle of nowhere. Like it's all flat. But you've got the algas here, and then they go 50 k's back to the east, you've got Uluru. And other than that, it's just sort of flat, a little bit undulated country. It'd be really cool if you'd go walk up through that re-entrant and around up in through there. Not a bad track down, it's been pretty hard. No one's come way over tea yet, so yeah, you can see. Just gotta take your time. 
I think going up would be a lot easier. Coming down is a bit harder. Now watch where you step in and step on a loose rock and yeah, you might down the hill. Right, we'll we come to a uh, a fork in the road. We'll choose a direction to head that way. Right, so we just got to that fork in the road. Uh, we've got another kilometre down this track to the Karinga lookout. Um, yeah, another K and then once we get there, we'll head back the way we come, back to the car and we'll we'll go back down the road to, uh, I think it's Weeper Gorge. Um, we'll go and do that. But yeah, I think we're going to go through this bit of a valley, I think, hopefully. Now I've said it a thousand times, but I reckon this would be pretty cool in the wet season. Watching all the waterfalls coming over the top. Heaps of wildlife in here too. Heaps of bees and birds. Don't really hear the sound of a bee much these days. But you know, they're all in here anyway. Holy hell. That's like a 45 degree climb. Just come up through here. Oh. I am blowing. Keep, keep going up in here. There's massive rocks. How the hell would you get down? Crazy. This walk is awesome. Up here you got one random tree just growing off the side of the rock. Yeah, so we just made it to the second second look yet. That's back falling east is the way we come. It's obviously a nice big steep incline to come up. Uh, west, sorry, that way, and we go across to the east. So we were going to turn around here and go back, but I think we're sort of committed now. So we're just going to have a, a good little break here. We've got a massive like decline to go down, down there. I think we'll just keep parking along. But yeah, how cool is this? Unreal. All these rock, rock ledges faces. Crazy. Yeah, definitely get out here if you can get out here. And if you can walk it, walk it. Like you probably fly over it, but you know, I don't think you get the, the proper aspect of you're gonna fly, at least if you walk it. You know. Right, I'll go and sit here and have a bit of a spell and suck the big ones in, because I think we're all blowing pretty hard. And then, um, yeah, as I said, we'll keep, keep wandering around. We'll do the full loop, bugger it. We've seen this much, you might as well see the rest. <laughs> so we're heading down the, down the other side. She's in uh, low two anyway. She's pretty steep. Just couldn't go back. I was committed. Oh. Like, at least I can say I've done the full track. Just don't want to miss anything. I'm only going to do it once and then do it properly. It's just how I roll. Right, we'll keep wandering down here and I'll pick his back up at the next uh, point of interest. Oh, we're done. We're done the 7.4k loop around. Just got another oh, half, a, half a k back to the car. We've achieved it. 
I think I said we started at 10 o'clock. It's half past 12 now, so that's oh, two and a half hours. So three hours, easy. Heaps to see. Got plenty of photos, I've had plenty of breaks. Kids are just starting to get a bit buggered. They've done really well. They've done, you know, they've walked seven and a half k's in pretty rough terrain, up and down, rocks everywhere. No. <laughs> Thoroughly recommended. Right, I'll, head, I'll end it here. We're heading back to the car, and I think tonight we're um, catching the bus. We're going to go do the field of lights. So that'll be pretty cool. There's another little gorge down here. I'll, I'll go and have a sticky beak and see what's, how long it is. We probably won't worry about it because I think everyone's done. Right, I'll talk to you soon. Just on the bus, heading out to the field of lights. Um, not, a, not too sure if I'll be able to see too much with the GoPro, but I'll run it anyway, so hopefully you can all see it. I tried to turn the light on up here, but she's turned off, so few people tonight. We can go for about an hour or so. Head on out there. Sorry, not the best uh, quality video, but it was it was night time and uh, definitely get out of the field of lights if you can. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Field of lights. Field of lights. Was it fun? Yeah, it was What fun. was your favourite colour? Um, it was blue. His favourite colour was blue? And, and we're going right now. We, we're going from home. Back to the caravan. Back to the caravan. And we're going to go to the... And then we'll get in for it. So please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. See ya. See ya. Good morning, everyone. Right, uh, so we finished our time at Uluru. Uh, there's Rock, Olgers. Um, from here, we're going to move on to Alice Springs for a few days. So hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. If you do, don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, we'll last uh, see you in Alice Springs. Cheers.